Hey girls, welcome to our Wednesday wellness workshop. And today's a little crazy because my computer is at the Apple store. And so I have to do this on my phone, which is going to make everything a little bit interesting, okay? The wind is really bad outside and you guys know I love to do my lives outside. So today I am stuck in my bedroom. So we're gonna talk about mindfulness. Now, it's a really interesting topic because I really do believe that so many of us, including myself, tend to be thinking about our task list and not living here now. And a long time ago, I was on a hike with some friends and one of them had just finished reading the book called The Power of Now. And she said that in order to draw herself back in and you know be more mindful, that she always uses the word, be here now. And that reminds her, okay? So I actually put together um, a little training for you guys on how to be more mindful. So think about this, when we get in trouble with something, like say we overeat or we over drink or we overspend or we do anything in excess, most of the time we don't set that as our intention, right? We just get caught up in the moment, we lose focus, and you know that's when stuff happens, right? So what we wanna do is focus on being more mindful. That way you're not you know, living in the moment and falling into problems, but you are actually being conscious and aware of every choice that you make. And let me tell you, this is a practice. <laughs> it is a big practice, and it's all about catching yourself before something happens, okay? So mindfulness is something that's really important in our life. And one way to practice it is by doing things like meditation and yoga and, you know, starting to train so that you can actually, you know, program your mind and not let what they call monkey mind take you away. Now, part of the issue is that our conscious mind is only responsible for like five to 10% of all awareness. The rest of it is unconscious. And so that's why we need to focus on reprogramming, okay? So when you live in the moment, you're actually able to address what's really happening and you're able to engage fully in um, your relationships and you're able to be present and listen to the person that's trying to talk to you. So it's a really big life skill that I think we all need to practice more of. Okay, so how do you do it? So part of it, like I said earlier, is your meditation practice, okay? So being cognizant during meditation of where your mind is. Are you controlling it or is it controlling you? You know, sometimes we just get lost in thought. And when you do meditate, don't beat yourself up if that happens. What they say to do, what the experts say to do, and I'm not an expert on meditation, um, is when you notice a thought coming in, Acknowledge it, get curious about it, and then release it and imagine it floating up into the air like a balloon and then come back to your breath, okay? So that way, if you want to sit in traditional meditation, staying in silence, you can use an app. One of my favorite apps is Calm, and I may have already told you about that awesome app. I love the sound of her voice. It is super sweet, and that is a great app for practicing. Another thing to do is practicing on your breath. So in your program, I believe in the very first self-care module, we talk about breath work. And there are so many ways to practice breath work. One of them is you can breathe while you're meditating. Another is you can breathe while you're in the bath. And But just consciously focus. It also actually helps you with like lymphatic movement, which is like it's almost like lymph is like your garbage disposal, so it processes your, your stuff in your body. And so doing a breathing practice, even if it's just like five or 10 deep breaths before every meal, actually will help you be more mindful and acknowledge that meal. So that might look like inhaling for five, holding for five, exhaling for five. You know, something super simple, but just to give you that, you know, you can even add a gratitude practice to that. 
So maybe it's just like inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. That will train you to be more mindful. Also, when you give gratitude before a meal, there's something that happens energetically to that meal. So you're, grat you're grateful for the meal coming in and being on your plate, and you're also grateful for the food and how it's going to nourish your body. So that actually gives you several practices for mindfulness, okay? And another trick on how to stop your mind from wandering is what I said earlier about be here now and try to focus on your present moment. Like what are you doing right here, right now that you can focus on? And when, like for my kids, so when they want to talk to me, they always say, mom, get away from your computer. <laughs> so that means like I get up and I'm fully engaged in what they're saying. And listen fully and let there be a pause before you respond. So that way, instead of thinking about what you're going to say to them, that you are actually fully engaged with what they are saying to you. And one thing about that also is don't tell people you're too busy. Like if you run into somebody on the street and they're like, hey, how you doing? Don't say, oh gosh, I've been so busy. Because what? Do you, how do you think that makes them feel? I think it makes them feel, well, okay, I guess they don't have any time to talk. Okay, maybe see you in another year from now or something, right? So that to me is just not a warm, inviting invitation. So just even if you're busy, that's great. Keep it to yourself. Like don't be telling people how busy you are because really I think it's a little off-putting and um, you know, just let them be present with you. Everybody has five extra minutes just to engage with each other. I always think that the world would be so much of a better place if we truly engaged with one another and responded and listened and just treated each other with a lot of kindness and love and respect. And next tip, how do you find the time? <laughs> this is a good one. So my favorite is when you're driving. Because how often have you been in your head and passed your exit off the freeway? How often have you been in, on autopilot and you've driven somewhere and you go, gosh, I don't even remember getting here. All right, so first of all, that's not very safe. Second of all, what did you miss along the way? What trees, what rainbows, what sunsets, what sights did you see? Maybe there's a brand new store that's really cool and you didn't even see it because you're in your head. So we wanna get out of our head and get into our heart and think about all the beauty in your world that you can enjoy so much more when you are actually there. Another good practice is when you're in the shower. Now, all of us, I can't imagine anybody not loving to take a shower in the morning. So visualize your gratitude for the warm water. Feel the soap or whatever bath gel that you use when you're cleaning your body. Enjoy the warmth and the wake up of the morning and find something to set your intention on for the day while you're in the shower and ask yourself power questions while you're there. And the power questions are there so that we're going to talk about this in more detail another time, but they're there so that you can set your intention for the day and have the law of attraction attract those answers to you. So one of my questions might be, who can I help today? You know, what can I do to make my life better today? How can I serve others today? You know, what can I do to nourish my body today? Any of those power questions in the shower are great, right? What can I appreciate today? How can my life get better today? Just those awesome power questions in the shower. Another thing is when you're waiting in line, how often do you check social media on your phone? Well, guess what? One way to be mindful is to actually stay in line Talk to people around you. Maybe you'll make their day better by just asking them about themselves, giving them a compliment, you know, things like that. Just saying hi to a stranger. Or if you're like waiting for an elevator or you're waiting for a meeting to start, learn to keep your phone in your handbag, okay? You don't need to have it in your hand 24 seven. And that's a really good practice for us. Just get out of our head and get out of that constant need to be doing something and just kind of appreciate your surroundings. Another way to be mindful is like in the morning when you're waiting for your co coffee in a restaurant when you're waiting to be served your dinner. Um, before answering the phone, this is a really good one. So when you have a call coming in, <laughs> how often do you want to press ignore? 
I bet often I do like if I see a caller non caller ID show up I always like think about oh I don't want to talk to this person I don't even know who this is right but guess what what if you could just say hello and spend 15 20 seconds and making that person's life better okay so before answering your phone pause think about what is on the who is on the other line now if it's somebody that you know be thankful that they're reaching out to you and calling you. <laughs> my aunt loves calling me and she drives me crazy because when she calls, she always complains about my mom. And half the time when I see that phone call come in, I'm just like, oh gosh. So I always try to flip it around with her and I make it a game and I make it a challenge to try to make her realize that the complaining side of things is just gonna bring more negative to your life. That's the law of attraction. When you wanna attract something in your life, whether it's good or bad, okay, is the way you're gonna attract it is by what you focus on. So what you focus on persists. So if somebody's, if you're gonna call somebody to complain, you're gonna attract more of the thing you're complaining about. And it's not just your words, it's your thoughts, it's your feelings, it's everything. So whatever you think about, you bring about, okay? So if you have that power, which you do, what are you gonna focus on today? So think about that. What power are you gonna give your mind and your attention and your focus? It is so, so important. So think about that. And before answering the phone, think about this. If it's somebody you know, how can you show them love? If it's somebody you don't know, how can you just do one little thing to make their day better? All right? If everybody did that, just how great would the world be now? So I'm going to give you guys a little worksheet. And I'm working on it still because my computer's gone. So that is going to be posted in the membership site with this. And so your homework is to practice being mindful this week. Okay. Practice catching yourself when you're up here instead of in here. All right. Because like I said, it's all about habit layering. And when we do things that don't serve us, typically we're not even aware of it. It all starts off as something that's just distraction. And I was telling somebody the other day that one of my favorite magnets I saw is I don't know what the question is, but the answer is not in here. And how often do you walk by the refrigerator or look for something mindlessly? How often do you eat like a bag of nuts or a bag of pork rinds or whatever you're eating that doesn't serve you mindlessly? So focus your intention this coming week on being mindful with your food, with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your people, with everything that you do, live mindfully. Oh, and here's my last tip. Instead of eating when you're standing up or distracted in front of your computer, celebrate the nourishment and that meal by sitting at the table, you know, setting your plate as if you were serving a guest. Put a napkin, a fork, a knife, your water, or whatever you're having, and make it be a ritual so that you can actually show appreciation to yourself, show yourself self-love, slow down, enjoy the meal, just take five extra minutes, chew your food thoroughly so that your body can digest it better, show gratitude, put your fork down between bites, and taste the food. So many of us eat too fast, and so we're not even feel, even tasting the food, and we're not digesting well enough, and our leptin, which is our full hormone, doesn't have a chance to kick in because we're eating too fast and we're on the run, all right? So you will actually eat a lot less food when you just slow down and be mindful, all right? So in the membership site, as soon as the worksheet's ready, it will probably be in a day. And my goal is to get it done and get it posted there in a day, and I will also post a link below the video so that you know you guys can catch it when you're catching the replay, all right? So thank you so much. This is your Wednesday Wellness, and I will chat with you girls tomorrow.